Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I will talk about what would happen if you build two devices around the RYLR998 LoRa mo module from the Ryx. Uh, so these two devices will be transmitting simple messages between them uh, to test the difference which devices can operate. So step one, the module. The RYLR998 module is a LoRa antenna transceiver module that operates in the 868-915 megahertz LoRa range. It features the low, lower long range uh, modem that provides ultra long range spread spectrum communication and high interference immunity whilst minimizing current consumption. So the modules were provided free of charge by the Ryx uh, you know, for this particular test. They feature a UART interface and they can be easily controlled by a microcontroller by using AT commands. It's important to note uh, is the modules are not 5V compatible, so you will need to operate them on a 3.V. Step number two, the setup to test the distance at which the devices can operate. Uh, you know, we'll be using two modules with the two NOD MCU boards to interface them. One of the devices will be placed outside a balcony with when this device receives the message, it will also send out a confirmation message uh, for that. The other device will be mobile and, you know, driver, you know, someone will drive around to see what sort of distances, uh, you know, they can still receive confirmation messages at. This device will be connected to a mobile phone with an app that will monitor the serial data being transmitted and received so we can observe what happened. So the house is located on a hillside and, you know, it was planned for a few spots uh, where we can test uh, the device in the valley that is in front of it. So, you know, that person will drive through those locations and test the reception using the mobile unit to confirm and get the response message back. Step three, the Arduino code. The node MCUs are programmed using Arduino and the code used on them can be found on, you know, at the repo below and Peter, you could put that on the screen. In a nutshell, device one is the mobile device and it sends a message to device two. So when device two receives the message, it replies back with the message showing, you know, that what it was received. The communication between the RYLR998 module and the NOD MCU board is implemented using the software serial library. For in the last step, uh, it, you know, there were tests that were made on several checkpoints with distances of 650 meters, 1.3 kilometers, 2.3 uh, kilometers, 5.2 kilometers, 5.7 kilometers beyond buildings, 6.6 kilometers, and finally 8.25 kilometers. And it was a great surprise. Um, you know, it was able to receive messages at all locations. Most of the locations did not have any issues in receiving the messages except for the one at 5.7 kilometers and that had some buildings in front of the device. So for that particular location, you know, they had to go out of the car to receive the communication, but it was all good. That's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. I appreciate your viewership. See you in the next video.